Midivani Monroe from MissFabulous.com. A cold February day brought us down to the Standard Hotel in New York's Meatpacking District to see the Nunu Fall 2013 collection. We met designer Misha Nunu last year at her Fall 2012 presentation and became immediate fans of this talented designer. Misha produces her self-named Nunu collection in Manhattan with an emphasis on her British tailoring heritage creating a couture line that is as impeccably made as it is stylish. Misha Nunu spoke to us before our presentation to give us some insight into what her fall 2013 Nunu collection is all about. We are in the Meatpacking District in Manhattan at the Standard Hotel for Misha Nunu's Fall 2013 presentation. I met you a year ago at the yep. same time and I became a major fan. Oh, I've been watching Thank everything you. you've been doing Thank since. Thank you. Thank you. What journey are you taking us on for this collection? Um, well, this this season we're going to Russia. Ah, very so, close to my own heart. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I um, I actually, I, I went there last October when I was kind of conceptualizing the collection and I was really struck by the romanticism and the stateliness of the country as a whole, you know, the architecture and all of that. I just, I fell in love with it and um, I, I just imagined this British girl going on a trip to Russia, you know, a real adventure because it's just so different. The whole collection is kind of inspired by touches of Russia, you know, the military details, the um, shopka hats, um, some of the fabrications, the knits, but at the heart of it, the collection really has this British tailoring that every season it sticks to, and um, I would say that that's really the, the overall feeling that you'll see in the collection. It's really a British girl that goes to Russia, and it's like what she, how she's inspired by Russia. And how did that influence the colors that you put into the collection? Well, the colors are very Russian. You have um, a white smoke, you have Romanov Rouge, uh, Imperial Ink, Cadet Navy, and um, shades of gray. So, yeah, they're, they're, it's obviously you know that red is like the color of Russia, and um, green, blue, all those colors, are, it's, it's very Russian. It's, it's come somewhat muted compared to spring, but, you know, I feel like the time is right for it. You mentioned the fabrications and the knits. Can you tell us a little bit more about what specific fabrics you are using in the collection? So we've used one very English uh, fabrication, which is the Prince of Wales check. And um, that's, you know, from years ago, it was something that was patented for the Prince of Wales. Um, and then we have like this checkerboard, we've got cashmeres, um, we've got furs. I've actually, with the fur, rather, the se previous season I did a lot of fur capes and coats and things like that and I feel as though fur now is moving in a way where it's more applicable for accessories okay. which is where you see the hats um, and it's just every season the, se the, the fabrics that I work with are of a very superior quality and they're noble and they're rich and, and you're going to see that in the texture and the layering that you'll see here. What look did you have the most fun with? 
Oh my goodness. That's like asking if I have a favorite child. Of I don't course. have any yet, but. Um, <laughs> well, I you think, do on the runway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're all my children. Um, I would say look one, and um, I would also say this green coat here is, you know, a real beauty, and I can't wait to wear it. Kind of the military coat. I love that look. Yeah, me too. I really do. Congratulations on another beautiful collection. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Really glad to be seeing it again. Thank you. Nice to see you.